What's going on, everybody? How you doing out there? Are you enjoying that new Mastodon album, Holy Bananas? I, I love everything about Mastodon. They are one of those bands that just does greatness from Leviathan, uh, Blood Mountain, Crack the Sky, uh, The Hunter, um, you name it. I just love it all. And uh, I'm still taking in the hushed and grim new tw 2021 album from these guys. I thought it'd be fun to see. There's old Dirty Behinds there. You got Troy Sanders in the band. They're up on stage. He's having a bit of difficulties with the uh, monitor system. One thing I thought about is a lot of these bands are doing the in-ear monitors now, and uh, they're still doing those front front loaders, or do they have both? Or do you need both? I, I, I don't know exactly how that works. I've never had an in-ear monitor before, but... I don't know what's going to happen in this video. I just thought it would be fun to to check in and, and uh, watch this thing and see what, what the situation is with his guitar. Obviously, he can't hear what he's doing. Uh, but, um, man, I am loving that, that album. It's uh, very sullen. There's a lot of uh, uh, slower, uh, mid-tempo songs on it. Um, but uh, Tear Drinker, just a beautiful, just a perfect song. Um, and I'm enjoying quite a bit off that. Um, uh, uh, Savage Lands, another wonderful song from that album. And uh, Gigantium, I, I enjoy that a lot too. But uh, 15 songs on it, and it's over an hour. It's like an hour and a half long. It's like 80 minutes or something. But uh, put it in the comments below and tell me what you think of that new Mastodon album. And let's watch Dirty B. Hines. Brent Hines getting, uh, getting pissed off here. Oh, he took that monitor, didn't he? He's trying to explain to the fella, I can't hear what's going on. Do you understand this? This is what I pay you for. Gotcha, sir. I mean, just a great band, but he's having some difficulty. Bands do that. Listen, listen here. Bands have problems. Sometimes the gear doesn't work right. Sometimes they don't work right. This is a, this is a gear problem. Here we go. He said he the, the nod over there was I can't I can't I still can't hear. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's oh boy. Down on the security man's head, right, right. Just took that sucker up. Oh. Is that someone's son? This guy launches in. Son, get son, get out of the way. That man's very angry. What was that dancey move situation there? Yeah, he's either not hearing something cor correct or because he just kind of swung that one right out of the way. Like, whatever I'm hearing out of these fucking things is not what I want to be hearing. I'll tell you what, you son of a bitch. You don't ever touch my monitors. He put it down. Put it down backwards. He's, he's... You son of a bitch. He's moving. I'll put it on that way. I mean, I love the guy. He's got such a great sense of humor, and he's just an overall positive thing. Is that a smirk I'm seeing on his face? Like, you guys fix the problem, maybe I'm being a baby? Oh, no. Oh. Uh, they can't hear you, bud. It's the, I don't, the rock music is too loud, but that was not, uh, uh, that was, that was not, that's not good. I pay your salaries. Listen here, you son of a gun. We've been friends for 25 years. It might be over tonight. I can't hear. Oh. Oh. Boy, the gig gone wrong, wrong for the for the uh, the the front of house, right? Is that what they call them? 
or, or is the, the main mixing board guy, the monitor guy, you got a monitor guy set up off to the side of the stage that works the on-stage sound, right? And then you've got the in-house or whatever, the main board that you see at the concerts where that's coming out at the audience. But there's a specific guy, his duties, and, and Troy Sanders and Bran and all of them are going, yeah, we're hearing perfectly fine, but for whatever reason, Dirty Behind's uh, sound is not... What, boss? Is it the flood? All right! Oh, it wasn't a son. It was a young, just a younger man, a 20-plus something that was down there as the, as the security. Seems like a light crowd, right? I mean, I know I'm, we're not seeing a lot of it, but... He's got to go out to the front of the stage to rock a solo. Okay, so you can hear it in the out front. So it's not an issue with the audience hearing it. It's just totally on him. It's totally his sound. Yeah, there's the bird. You guys just lost your bonus for this gig. Try Troy's monitors. Maybe they're better. Yeah, he's got to go back. Yeah, you got to move. Look at how beautifully they moved over. That is the t testament of a of a of a real band right there. Because Troy saw the the uh, he acknowledged the the issues, moved over to this fella. You know, I know Bran, I know Brent, I know Troy. What's this guy's name? I mean, he's a great guitar player too, but it just doesn't stick in the brain. I'll tell you, the only reason I know Bran is because I actually met Bran. <laughs> And I didn't even realize this until a few days ago. He used to be in a band called Today is the Day on an album called, uh, oh God, what was it? It wasn't uh, Temple of the Morning Star, but it was the one right after that. If you're a fan of Today is the Day, it was the, uh, uh, I can't remember what the name of the album was, but it had the Jesus with the, the horns and stuff. He was the drummer for it. And I went into the club and uh, was blown away at this dude's drum playing. Um, and I said hello to him, and he was setting up, he was putting the cymbals on his on his drum set at the time. And uh, when he got up there, it was like my asshole clenched shut, because I was like, my God, that guy can play the fucking drums. That was just weird. It's like all of a sudden Mastodon comes out, and there's the fella, dude. He's banging on the stuffs. Is that in tune singing or out tune singing? Some say that's a pretty uh, good idea, those in ear monitors. This isn't the most flattering angle uh, to be hearing the band from because I'm sure out front it sounds delightful. Who's that? Is that the singer for Seven Dust? Would they play, would Mastodon play shows with Step, Seven Dust? I am going to see uh, my buddy Mike that I do the podcast with, the Corpse Cast. He bought me a ticket to see Opeth and Mastodon in December. I'm very, very happy about that situation. Oh, he's happy now. You can't keep a happy man down, that's what I always say. And now Brent, he's happy. He said, by God, you've done it. I thought you guys were the biggest failures in the world. I thought I may have to fire you all and hire a whole new set of dudes. But you managed to figure it out. Now I'm very happy.
Yeah, 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 yeah. What's that wristband for that guy had on his wrist? Is he mad still? Bro, I love you. When I get angry at you, it's because I'm an artist, and I'm up here trying to perform for all the people that paid. When you don't cut the mustard, I don't cut the mustard. Do you understand? But I love you deeply. We've been friends for years. Remember that time where we, well, we don't even want to get into that. But it involved the desert, it involved us naked, and it involved uh, us touching each other. That beside, I, I love you. Smiles. See, he's happy now. That's a rocker. He just wants to rock, man. It's as simple as that. I just want to rock, and when I rock, I want to hear myself. Simple. Oh, thumbs. Thumbs ups instead of thumbs downs. Look at that. Where are we at right now? 347. And in the span of a few minutes, uh, only a few minutes in time, you get one of those. Pointing, pointing, shoot with gun. Birdie, birdie, flip, flip. Birdie, birdie, flip, flip. That sucks, bro. And all the way over here to this. All the way over to a thumbsy, uh, thumbs ups. Amen. See, and that's the way rock and roll goes for you, right? One minute you could be down, you could be saying, "I can't hear everything." The world, the the whole the whole gig's going to shit, and then it turns into, "You're my best friend, man. You got that sound fixed. I love you." What say you? I would love all the Mastodon fans to get out there and tell me their finest memories and thoughts about Mastodon. My heavens, I'm still taking that album in. I'm not going to say that it's my favorite album. I think it's far from that, but it is a, a beautiful piece of work. Um, a lot of really slow, intense, melodic, uh, heavy, depressing jams. Harsh and Grim is a perfect title for it. But I'll tell you what, man, they, they lay it down. So get in those comments and tell me exactly what you thought of Mastodon. What do you think of this? From mad to happy, that's the way we always want everyone to be. Okay? Swinging in and loving you so much. Mm. Hey.